But let's watch this and see what Shane thinks about statistics majors. So the title of the video, is a statistics degree worth it? On this Sorry, channel, major from a about personal finance degree. perspective. And simply speaking, statistics is where you use math in order to organize and gather data in such a way where it can be understood and interpreted to make real life decisions. All right, so I don't mind his explanation of what statistics actually is. I think that's a fair representation. And in practice, I think he's basically right. I mean, we can even, let's Google, let's see what Google says of what statistics actually is. What is statistics? The practice of science or science of collecting and analyzing numerical data in large quantities, doesn't have to be in large quantities, especially for the purpose of inferring proportions in a whole from those in a representative sample. Well, that's kind of convoluted and confusing, but really statistics is the practice or science of collecting and analyzing data. That's what I think it is in my opinion. Let me know in the comments if you think differently. Let's see what Shane, what else Shane has to say about statistics majors. Involve a lot of mathematics. It's very similar to a mathematics degree in that respect. However, statistics it's is a very specific super, type of math. A mathematics degree in general is going to be a little less specific and not as applicable to the real world, whereas a statistics degree is a little more practical in my opinion. And in this specific type of math, you are going to be using spreadsheets galore. And if you're not somebody who likes crunching numbers. All right, a few things just from the introduction. I'm sorry, I have to keep stopping it. But statistics isn't just math. I think there's, if you have a Venn diagram, you have statistics over here and math over here. There is some overlap for sure. Statistics uses math, but statistics is so much more than math. There's surveys, there's experimental design, and that in itself, I wouldn't say is, is pure math. Like it uses math as a tool to complete a specific goal, but it's not math in itself. I think this is a lot of a misconception that a lot of people have about statistics majors is that you're using math and spreadsheets working with data. Yes, but no. And he's talking about crunching data and crunching numbers. That's not really what we do either. Then you will give them a chance, but I have a little, I have a little disagreement with him here. Mind numbingly dull, whereas for others, they really like using it because of how practical it is. Now, there are a ton of different examples of careers paths that you can go down after graduating with this degree. You could become a market researcher, a financial analyst. You could become an economist or, of course, a statistician. You could also go down the technology. So he just gave four jobs. I think for those four jobs, you can't really get into those with just the statistics degree, the market researcher and financial analyst, those sort of jobs. You definitely need some more background in those things. So you might need like a dual major or at least a minor in one of those topics. And then a statistician. I know, I, I think I know what he's going to say. I think he's going to say that's more of a master's degree oriented thing, but it's going to be very hard to come by a statistician role with just a bachelor's degree. So keep that in mind side of things and become a software engineer a database administrator or a data scientist and again he doesn't mention a data analyst but i'm living proof that you can become a data analyst just with the statistics bachelor's degree so also keep that in mind and again with data scientists most of them have advanced level degrees or a lot more experience than just coming right out of college so again keep that in mind with a statistics degree in general, you're going to expect to make around $63,000 a year in your first five years after graduating, also known as early career pay, and then mid-career pay, which is 10 years and on, you can expect to make around $114,000 a year. Now, I'm curious when this video was made because oh, it's two years ago. I don't know if that, how up to date that would be now or what the difference would be now, but I can say from the jobs that I was seeing, depending on where you live, that seems a little low. I've seen go much higher. I would venture a guess as to say that the median salary for people graduating with the statistics majors is closer to about 70,000. So a little bit more than that, but that's just my opinion. And that could just be where I'm located, but that's, that's what I'm decided to go down. For instance, if you want to become an actuary, you're probably going to start around $67,000 a year. And then after 10 years, you're going to be making around 105,000. If you wanted to become a statistician, they make around $92,000 a year. However, you're generally going to have to get a master's level degree if you want to work purely as a statistician or a mathematician. Statistician. God, that's a really weird word to say. Some really common career. I can confirm I majored in statistics. I talk about it for the last four years of my life, pretty much. Statistics and statistician are very hard words to say. I agree, Shane. Past that you would see people going down would becoming a senior statistician, a data scientist, or a senior data scientist as they move on in their career. So a data I don't know where he got that graphic from. Make but around I don't know about that. 
I, it could just be something you found on the internet, but I don't know about that. $22,000 a year. So for instance, you could become a software developer and they make around $107,000 a year. And that's with just a bachelor's level degree. There really are a ton of different career paths that you could go down with. Now this is something that I'm super interested in. I think if you're coming into college and that's a route you want to go and you're maybe leaning towards data scientists, but you also love programming, I think going into a statistics focused degree with a heavy emphasis on computer science and programming you can have a great setup for a great career in either software development or data scientist if i could go back that's what i would do the i had to prove myself as somebody who could program by doing it a ton like in research positions or internships but if you can do that in school i think you're setting yourself up for success statistics degree and almost all of them tend to be really well paying so overall for a statistics degree I'm gonna give this one a salary score of 9 out of 10 so next I we're like gonna it. be talking about satisfaction for some people crunching numbers all day could be their dream they'd absolutely love to do that Again, and for other people that would be numbers, a nightmare I kind of like numbers. some types of math I'm sorry if that's weird to a lot of you I know a lot of people hate math but statistics is not under that category all the classes that I took in statistics to me were extremely boring however I see how incredibly useful it is and you know the end product after you've done all the boring stuff can be extremely useful and fun and there are a yes 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 the end product of statistics is like I feel like a wizard I don't know about you guys or if you're watching this or even if you're not a statistics major but hear me out statistics can be super fun because it, it gives you a way to predict the future based on past events it gives you the tools to be able to say this is enough of a sample size to determine blank this definitively is greater than blank. Like that is such a powerful tool, so underrated. And I think anybody who thinks it's boring is boring themselves. So there, I said it. I said a ton it. of people out there that love statistics and they love what they can do using their knowledge. So with that being said, according to Payscale, the meaning score, which is basically how much you think your career, or your degree impacts the world in a positive way is on the lower side. But with that being said, a lot of the mathematics related majors are on the lower side. And I think that's just because a lot of people don't like math that much in general. However, when you look, all right, that was weird of him to say, because if you're going into a math or statistics degree or a math or statistics job and you don't like math, why, why would you do that? First of all, second of all, I think it's also weird because statistics unlocks the potential for great good. It is important in politics and that's something you're passionate about and care deeply about. That's important. It can help. It, it does help in healthcare and making the making of drugs. It determines that this drug is effective or it determines that this technique of performing surgery is effective over this one. And it can be proven with data. It is able to change the world in a positive way. I personally work in like a health focused setting and I can say from the bottom of my heart that the work I do feels deeply meaningful and I think if you choose the right profession and I mean that by choosing the right company it very well can be impactful and very meaningful so I don't agree with you here Shane I'm sorry job satisfaction which is a little bit different than meaning job satisfaction is basically how much you enjoy doing your job it is actually a little bit on the higher side so for instance for statisticians they have a job satisfaction score i deeply around enjoy my job percent and that basically way. just means that 72 percent of the people surveyed said that they are highly satisfied with their job so although the meaning might be a little bit low you might not be positively impacting the world all that much you do tend to go into careers disagree. where you are disagree, satisfied disagree. with the career itself. And I think a lot of that has to do with Shane, the fact we should that talk. statistics reach out to me. is going to teach you Shane. skills that are really highly coveted. Shane. And a lot of Shane, reach out to me. Let's talk about it. I would love to people out there a lot of businesses just shoot me an email. Want it's on my to hire you and so therefore they're going to have to treat you a lot better just because of the fact that you have a lot of options but overall like i said this is extremely subjective this is always the hardest one for me to rate i'm going to go ahead and give this one a 7.5 out of 10. for some people this one would be a 10 out of 10 despite and for other disagreeing people, this with them would I... be a 1 out of 10. I next we're going to be talking about demand and overall demand might demand. actually be the most important one on the entire list just because Trust of the me. fact that a lot of the other ones on this list you're wanted to stem from demand now bls projects a 27 percent growth in careers that are related to a statistics degree within the next 10 years that is really really good especially when you consider the fact that the average career is growing at about four percent now i think one of the biggest reasons for this incredible growth is the fact that more and more businesses and government agencies etc are realizing the importance of data okay data is yeah data is or data if you want to say it like that but data in my opinion is like 
this century's gold. If you know how to work with it and you know how to deal with it and you know how to make insights from it, you're going to have a job. It's not an easy thing to learn and I haven't fully learned it myself, but I think that is one of the most important things that you can take from this is that this job is in demand. It's in high demand and people with this kind of skills are going to be wanted and will be paid accordingly. So that's my opinion, but the BLS, which is the Bureau of Labor Statistics, that stat the showing the 27 or 24 percent growth projected over until 2030 i think that's where that comes from and i think it's the truth so think of that what you will but i think more statistics valuable majors than will be oil. in high demand this is actually something that is true data is more valuable so incredibly than valuable i've talked about this in other videos but if you know how to gather organize and interpret data in such a way where you can make really good business decisions that is pretty much an invaluable skill and statistics teaches you a lot of the skills that you need in order to do that if you decide to become a data scientist, there's about 32,000 jobs available now. It's growing at 15%, which means 10 years down the line, there's going to be another five. All right. So here it says on the, this is from the BLS page because I recognize it, but it says computer and information research scientists. Don't know if that includes data scientists, but I would expect the job outlook growth percentage to be much higher than that. But I also think that in the future, data scientists aren't going to be as valuable as machine learning experts, which I don't know that role can take off or take on a bunch of different titles. But I think people who may be titled data scientists are going to be doing a lot more machine learning, but the role of data scientist can be so vast and not super specific on what you're actually going to be doing that it probably already includes some machine learning. So just keep that in mind. But I would expect this job outlook percentage to look much higher if this was actually for data scientists or machine learning experts, whatever you want to call it thousand jobs available which again is excellent overall when it comes to demand statistics degrees are in very high demand i'm going to go ahead and give this one a 9.5 out of 10. now when it comes to automation sure there are some parts of this that can be automated for instance the process of gathering data Generally speaking, that part can be automated or outsourced somewhat. However, when it comes to the process of organizing and making some kind of sense of all that data. Yeah, gathering data can be automated. I mean, it depends on the context, of course. I think with the developments in the web, you can gather a lot more automated than you can, you know, manually. And that's why it's done that way. Because on the web, if you have a website, you can see on, like the owner of this website can see metrics on how long a user is spending what they're clicking on, what they're even looking at, or what they're hovering their mouse over, how much time they spent on it, what they're buying. You can see all this different stuff, where they're from even. You can even track them across other websites and see what other things they are doing. So yeah, you can gather so much more automated than you can men. And I think that's an important part, but I don't think, I wouldn't say that statistics, you know, for centered people aren't really going out there if you're a survey researcher sure you're asking all these survey questions but you can gather better data i think on something like a website than you can you know sending out surveys sure you can get some extra satisfaction me metrics how easy it was to man like find what you were looking for but i would say that you know if he's going to make the point that you know that could be automated and factor that into his score of whatever the x factor for statistics majors i think it's a little bit a little bit unfounded because i am not positive that the rest of the statistics realm could be automated it probably can at some point but i would say in the near future it's no concerns and i think if you adapt um you'll be fine and when you look at it mathematic related skills in general do tend to get paid really well just because of the fact no. that not very many people like math and not very many people are good at it so there's a lot and that's why if you're a statistics major and you're watching this video and you watch this channel and you watch the other videos on my channel, you yourself are a wizard. You're awesome. You're amazing. And I love you. And I don't want to go over his overall ranking because I'm sure he's going to give it like a 9 or an 8 or something out of 10. But I think it's a 10 out of 10. I hope you think it's a 10 out of 10 too. And if you made it this far in the video, watch this video next because I'm sure you're going to love it just as much as I love you.